In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Living on a life of discipleship inevitably comes with a cost. For the times in which we fail to be true disciples of Christ, we pause and ask our Lord for mercy and forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all of the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord, mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, who in the abundance of your kindness surpass the merits and the desires of those who entreat you, pour out your mercy upon us to pardon what conscience dreads and to give what prayer does not dare to ask. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Job. Job answered his friends and said, I know well that it is so, but how can a man be justified before God? Should one wish to contend with him, he could not answer him once in a thousand times. God is wise in heart and mighty in strength. Who has withstood him and remained unscathed? He removes the mountains before they know it. He overturns them in his anger. He shakes the earth out of its place, and the pillars beneath it tremble. He commands the sun, and it rises not. He seals up the stars. He alone stretches out the heavens and treads upon the crest of the sea. He made the bear and Orion, the Pleiades and the constellations of the south. He does great things past finding out marvelous things beyond reckoning. Should he come near me, I see him not. Shall he pass by, I am not aware of him. Should he seize me forcibly, who can say him nay? Who can say to him, what are you doing? How much less shall I give him an, any answer, or choose out arguments against him? Even though I were right, I could not answer him, but should rather beg for what was due me. If I appealed to him and he answered my call, I could not believe he would hearken to my words. The word of the Lord. Let my prayer come before you, Lord. Let my prayer come before you, Lord. Daily I call upon you, O Lord. To you I stretch out my hands. Will you work wonders for the dead? Will the shades arise to give you thanks? Let my prayer come before you, Lord. Do they declare your mercy in the grave, your faithfulness among those who have perished? Or your wonders made known in the darkness, or your justice in the land of oblivion? But I, O oh Lord, cry out to you. With my morning prayer, I wait upon you. Why, O oh Lord, do you reject me? Why hide from me your face?
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. As Jesus and his disciples were proceeding on their journey, someone said to him, I will follow you wherever you go. Jesus answered him, Foxes have dens and birds of the sky have nests, but the Son of Man has nowhere to rest his head. And to another he said, Follow me. But he replied, Lord, let me go first and bury my father. But he answered him, Let the dead bury their dead. But you, go and proclaim the kingdom of God. And another said, I will follow you, Lord. But first let me say farewell to my family at home. Jesus answered him, No one who sets his hand to the plow and looks to what was left behind is fit for the kingdom of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Chances are, if, if you're normal, and looking around, I think most of you are normal. Um, but if you're normal, um, you, you probably uh, have that, that goal, that initiative, that... Um, that cause that uh, you've had on your list that you've wanted to accomplish for a long time, and maybe you've you've started it and you've made some progress, but um, you know it's because it's difficult, it's challenging, and because there's always tomorrow, maybe it, it never got completed. <clears throat> maybe it's that advanced education degree you wanted to complete. Maybe it's um, or or some certification in your profession. Maybe you want to you wanted to hike the Appalachian Trail or compete in that marathon or that that triathlon, or maybe it's launching that effort to help people find hope, to find their dignity, um, to find their purpose in life. Whatever it is, it hasn't happened yet, and um, as uh, I think as 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 we get older, maybe uh, a little less mobile a little less capable, we can't help but wonder, um, will it ever happen? Will I ever <clears throat> accomplish this thing that is, that is so important to me that I've thought about for so many years? And uh, I, well, am, I, am I running on borrowed time? Will the sun set and I, uh, I, I, I pass on from this world to another not having completed it? I think um, that, that um, we the chances are that all of us, almost certainly, that all of us will leave this earth not having accomplished everything that we wished or that we had set out to accomplish. You know, there simply isn't enough time in a lifetime to do that. And I think, you know, how do we cope with this reality? I think we have to learn to prioritize, um, to see those things that are most important, not to our legacy, but to um, that cause or that, that effort that brings hope, that brings some quality of life to others that are around us that maybe for whatever reason don't have that. I think this priority and this, um, this demand on our time, we see this in these, these three characters today in our, in our gospel, um, that certainly they have this goal. They've probably been following Jesus for a little while, and they all want to be disciples of Jesus. What a, what a goal, what, a, what an accomplishment to live a life that committed would be. And uh, they, they have an abundance of, of passion and an abundance of, of uh, a purpose in wanting to do this, uh, but they also have an abundance of competing priorities that uh, is preventing them, you know, that's impeding them from doing this. And, and they are... Um, they aren't um, irrelevant or, or selfish priorities. They're things that are legitimate. But they still struggle to follow this. They still struggle to, to go to the, the depth of commitment that Jesus is calling them to do. I think if we uh, look in, in Jesus' time, we look at the time since then, and in our own world today, um, that there is a extremely small percentage of people who make this level of commitment that Jesus is talking about. Um, you know, uh, if we look around here, we 
probably don't see anybody. Maybe there's one person in the church, maybe one, one, one and a half. We've got the big guy. I'm not talking about Joe Biden. I'm talking about, you know, the, the big guy over here. Um, that in our priest, I think we see that. Certainly, um, you know, that level of commitment that in missionaries we see that. Um, and it is. It is quite impressive. It's quite um, um, commendable when, when people do that. But I think the reality is that <clears throat> we have those competing priorities. For us to make that level of commitment is very difficult. But, but we still have um, that cause, maybe, that we're that we've wanted to follow, that, that it's not just a, a one thing that we do, but maybe it's something that can have uh, an impact, can have positive effects um, uh, well past our time here on earth. And um, maybe, maybe we've started it before, maybe it's, it's stopped, it's been interrupted, there's been reasons, um, good reasons again like those three in the gospel that we weren't able to follow through on that. And for me there is... Um, this, this cause in my life, I won't bore you with the details, but it's something that's kind of been nagging me really for the last 20 years. And um, uh, I, uh, I've decided just recently here to, to take it up again um, and, and, and to see if I can complete this to try to refocus my efforts. Um, and it's, um, again, something that um, I, I hope to complete, but at the same time, if I don't complete it, I realize it's not the end of my life. You know, I realize my life is still very much complete. But nonetheless, I think when we have these causes, as maybe as we refer to, that is, it's that higher level of commitment, but maybe not quite the commitment that Jesus calls these three today to, that we try our best to follow that. Um, and we, we put our, our greatest effort into it. And um, um, that, again, if we don't... Um, it's, it's okay. I mean, there are many people who make the Hall of Fame in certain sports, but they never won a championship. And uh, certainly our lives can get, be complete. Um, but uh, if we can achieve this, we can maybe make um, lives better for those folks um, down the road who somehow through this cause we've affected. Maybe um, the need to sleep in a warm bed, the, the need to bury our dead, the need to look back to the past, may impede us from uh, making the deepest of commitments. But um, I invite you again this morning to, if that call that's been there for a long time is calling you back again, to, to reconsider it, to um, kind of uh, reapply your efforts. Um, maybe it's not too late. We stand to place before our God all of our prayers of petition and of need. That the Holy Spirit will inspire each of us and Christians around the world in being catalysts to help others fulfill their discipleship, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For men discerning priesthood or the diaconate and women discerning a call to religious life, may we encourage and support their discernment process, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those confused with their future, due as a result of natural disasters, may our support provide hope and a renewed sense of purpose in serving God in our community. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our, for our military, police officers, firefighters, and correctional officers who ensure our public safety, may they always be protected in the line of duty. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those in our community who are sick and those who have recently passed, and for those for whom this Mass is being offered, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the special intentions we hold in the silence of our hearts. May our heart's goal and our one true desire, O God, always be to serve you and our neighbor. Provide the needs that we place before your altar, through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offered you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offered you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the sacrifices instituted by your commands, and through the sacred mysteries which we celebrate with dutiful service, graciously complete the sanctifying work by which you are pleased to redeem us. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift, since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Michael, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. 
Amen. And at the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will. who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Grant us, Almighty God, that we may be refreshed and nourished by the sacrament which we have received, so as to be transformed into what we consume. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go forth in peace to love and to serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. And as a reminder, on Wednesdays we have Eucharistic Adoration from after Mass until 8 p.m. Spend some time today in prayer with our God.